did Remy make this? I have questions. <laughs> Bonjour everybody, it's Molly with All Ears and I'm here today with a brand new video and a brand new food review. Today we are eating at one of the newest restaurants in Walt Disney World, La Cripperie de Paris. Please don't judge my French accent throughout this video. This opened up with the Remy expansion on October 1st and while I ate here for the media preview today, I'm going to go enjoy the three course menu here and see if this was somewhere you should add to your next Epcot eating adventure. I hope you're ready, I hope you're excited. It will be très magnifique. I should stop speaking French now. La Creperie de Paris is the newest restaurant in Epcot. It opened along with the Ratatouille expansion earlier this year, and it has both a walk-up window and a full-service restaurant, which very recently started accepting reservations before it was just first come, first serve. This is one of those great restaurants where Disney and the French team really wanted to make it authentic, so they imported things like the flour, the cheeses, other ingredients, the um, apparatus they're cooking these on. They imported those from France to make this as authentic as possible, and I'm so excited to eat here right now because I love cheese and that's a main staple of this adventure. Ah. Surprise everyone! Quincy's here. <laughs> you! Yeah, I'm here. So Quincy and I were actually filming another video today and um, we ended up wrapping early so we I was like hey I have to shoot the crepery do you want to go to the crepery with me while you wait on your Remy's virtual boarding group? And I sure did. So we're both gonna eat at the crepery today as a fun treat. Yay! Um, and if you're wondering what video, it was a Genie, Genie Plus experiment here at Epcot. We can link that for you where one of us had Genie, one of us had Genie Plus, and we saw who could get through the rides first. Taking a look at the menu here. Now, of course, this is all about crepes, um, but one word you will see that you may not be familiar with are galettes, which are, as it explains here, savory crepes made in Brittany, which is a region of France known for their galettes, and they use buckwheat flour. Um, so they import the buckwheat flour, and they're all gluten-friendly, and they have this amazing deal here. This literally might be the best deal in all of Walt Disney World. For $33, you get an appetizer, a galette, a drink, including it can be alcohol if you want, and a dessert crepe. So looking at the entrees, they've got a soup of the day and a salad. They also have your uh, galettes here. They have a classic, which is a ham, egg, and Swiss. I had that at the media event before Remy. We can link that video for you. Um, they have one with chicken and mushrooms. That sounds amazing. A goat cheese, spinach, walnut, salmon, and lemon. Ratatouille, I had that one as well. Um, and then there's one with the raclette cheese, ham, and onions. I don't know what to decide. The chicken one sounds amazing, but so does goat cheese, but so does the raclette cheese. And looking at your dessert crepes, you have the gourmand, which I had again, um, and that one is hazelnut, so it's like Nutella, um, but they make that spread in house. There's a banana one, a peach with red berry sauce, a pear and chocolate, an apple one, and then you can add whipped cream. They're amazing, incredible ice cream if you'd like to here. Um, any kind of sauce, you can also get a little frisky and add a shot of liqueur. You could do a little liqueur there if you'd like to. Looking at the drinks, um, they have the ciders, which they are importing these from France as well. Um, the French hard ciders are made with French apples. They have a range of um, dry all the way up to sweet. They they also have, of course, French wines, beers, sodas, and coffees. First of all, cheers. Oh, that one's so good. This one's definitely my favorite. I've said it a million times. I don't like sweet drinks. This one mostly just tastes like not super sweet boozy apple juice, if I were to describe it. The others do get, again, progressively sweeter. So if you like sweeter drinks, that's what you should do. But I like that uh, they have imported all of this cider. I'm also trying my cappuccino because I haven't had enough coffee today. That's a good cappuccino. Now, as a reminder, the three-course menu comes with a drink. So that is my cider and then the cappuccino I just ordered extra because, of course, you can always order anything you want. It's a very good cappuccino. We're in France. What do you expect? All right. So for my entree, which is an appetizer here, very confusing, I got the salade maison, which is a mixed green salad with tomatoes, onions, and vinaigrette. That means house salad and it looks really, really good. It's a very pretty salad. I'm excited to put it in my mouth. Getting a good bite here. This is a really big bite. It's a very good salad. It's light, that vinaigrette on top has some like citrusy flavor to it, I think. The croutons are super crisp and crunchy, so is the onion. The tomato like burst, it was so fresh, which is the only kind of grape tomato, is the good kind. Um, and then the lettuce is a little, it's not very crisp mixed greens, it's more like soft. 
but with all the crunchy elements of the salad, texturally it all works out very well. The dressing is not a very strong flavor, so I like a really aggressive dressing, and this is a more mild. The soup du jour, the soup of the day, uh, mm, that sounds good, I'll have that, is a potato leek soup. So she said it's an ice creamy soup with little chives on top, and look at this bowl. Can we talk about how cute this little bowl is with a little kitty cat on it? That is good soup. It's nice and creamy. You can definitely taste the potatoes. You can taste the leek. It's not when I want when I have creamy soup. I want it to be cheesy in my mind, but it's not cheesy. It's actually a lot lighter than it looks. It looks like it's going to be super heavy and dense, but it's actually very refreshing. It's actually very very good, very very flavorful, but not overwhelmingly heavy, which is great because I got a bunch of cheese to eat in a moment, but excellent soup. This is the Chevre Galette, which is made with goat cheese, spinach, and walnuts. It looks amazing, and it's got that beautiful buckwheat galette. I'm super excited to try it. All right, we got a beautiful bite with a walnut, a whole shebang. That is very good. The star is definitely the goat cheese. This thing is loaded with goat cheese, which, as it should be, but You've got the nice spinach to like lighten it up, and then the walnuts provide some crunch. Plus the galette is actually kind of crispy on the corners, which is awesome. Um, so really, really good texturally because you've got the soft goat cheese and the crispy and the crunchy. Flavors wise, very mild. Again, goat cheese is a star, it's the main thing I'm tasting. If you don't like goat cheese, certainly skip this one. But if you love goat cheese, like me, this might be a good option. Keep in mind it doesn't have meat and there are definitely some with richer flavors to them than this one. I was torn between a few, but I ended up going for the Savoyard, which is the raclette cheese. This is like that cheese they have at the Alps booth at Food and Wine, where it's just like a big wedge of cheese and then somebody scrapes it off and it's all melty and delicious. And then it also has onions and imported ham and it smells amazing and I'm so excited about it. This is phenomenal. Now, caveat, I guess, this is my favorite pavilion to eat in. I basically love everything that the French Pavilion does because I love that they import the ingredients. I love cheese and I love simple flavors that are just done well and that's for this pavilion in a nutshell. This galette is no exception. It's got that salty, melty, amazing cheese as well as the saltiness from the ham. Got a little sweetness from the onions then that perfectly cooked, kind of almost crisp um, buckwheat that makes the galette itself. So this one is excellent. I like this one more than the one I had with the egg at the preview. I think my favorite one is probably still the time I got the melted brie one outside and put it with the um, ratatouille one that they also serve in here. Yeah. But this is excellent. And again, this is probably the best deal you're going to get anywhere in Disney. It, but this is chef's kiss. Did Remy make this? I have questions. So Quincy and I decided that we would share because we wanted we wanted to try each other's. Uh -huh. So we were like, oh, we'll cut each other a little bite and share. I would like you to look at the size difference in these bites. This is the bite Quincy has provided me. This is what I gave Quincy. Uh, <laughs> little bite. Do there's that's two things. That is a that is a Molly bite. Yeah. So it's either that or I'm just a more generous and giving friend. One it, it's one of those two things. All right. So for my dessert crepe, I got the poire, which is pear, chocolate ganache, and whipped cream. I love pears, and this looks so amazing. I love crepes because they're like little packages of, of flavor of good flavors. All right. Time to try out the poire crepe. This is absolutely my favorite thing that I've eaten. One of my favorite French foods is a pear tart. And this is really like similar. It's kind of in that vein where it's like really warm, soft, cooked pears. And then the crepe is like, it's beautiful. It's super thin. It's got a lot of sweet flavor to it. And then you've got this like whipped cream and chocolate just tying it all together. This is so good. Here is my beautiful looking dessert. This is the palm, which is apple in French, because this one is caramelized apples and then a caramel burr sauce on top. And then I also couldn't resist the upcharge to get the vanilla ice cream. It's that amazing French ice cream that they make. Um, they had vanilla or raspberry, but I felt like vanilla would go really well with this beautiful looking apple crip. It smells amazing and I can't wait to get into this. I'm trying the crepe on its own first. 
it's kind of like, it reminds me a lot of apple pie or an apple tart, which my mom makes this really great fruit tart that has um, either peaches or apples on it and then like a crumble on the top with caramel and brown sugar. And it's reminded me of that, but you can definitely taste a little bit of egginess that comes from the crepe itself. Um, but it's certainly sweet, but it's not sickly sweet because you've got the fresh apples, a little crunch in there, definitely some cinnamon, and then that sticky caramel. So very delicious, but I'm going to get it with a little scoop of this ice cream now. Get a bite with that, see how that goes. How does France do this? How is their ice cream so good? How is this dessert so good? This is a phenomenal dessert. Definitely sweet, definitely indulgent, but not over the top sickly, big sugary sweet. I will say this is phenomenal. Um, I, unlike Quincy, prefer the savory galettes solely because I'm more of a savory person. I love cheese, I love um, savory foods. And if I was in France, I would, um, and I could only have one dessert, I probably would still get ice cream from the ice cream shop or my beloved strawberry tart from Le All the Bakery. However, uh, I think this is a really fun experience. I think this is delicious. If you're a big crepe fan, you'll love it. There's also great dessert crepes at the walk-up window. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with these. And I can't say it enough, this is literally the best deal in Disney World, this three-course meal. Well, that was a lovely meal. I had a delightful time. Would you eat at the Creperie again? Absolutely. I 100%. would as well. I would as well. I don't know if it needs to be your number one go-to no. place in Epcot. Um, there's certainly other sit-downs I love more, like La Cellier or Via Napoli. I really like Beer Garden and Garden Grill. So there are other amazing sit-downs, but what I loved about this was, we were just talking about, I'm not stuffed. Like, I'm no. full and I'm happy, but I'm not, like uncomfortable and we had three courses in not a lot of time which yeah. is awesome because a lot of the sit-down meals in Epcot take a while yeah and if you're trying to maximize your Epcot day then that might not be the best choice this was a relatively quick one which was really nice it, yeah so it's quick and we're not that full so yeah. Epcot's the park you probably want to eat the most in so I got I got plenty of room in a few hours if I want to eat more snacks I'll have a few hours, hours. 30 minutes, maybe. Sure. <laughs> That's probably more accurate. Yeah. So I definitely enjoy the Crapery. I think it's a great addition. I love that you have both the walk-up and the sit-down op uh, option. I love that they imported so many of the ingredients. And to me, again, this is what France does best. Simple quality ingredients done in a, like, simple way. Yeah. But it's... It's so delicious. 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 And, like we said, the, I, the best deal in Disney. It's a, I mean, that deal is insane. The fact that you can get a $33 three-course prefix with an included alcoholic drink. Yeah. I can't even believe I'm saying that right I know. now. <laughs> like definitely, a Disney World restaurant. Definitely the, the best deal in Disney World. Galettes and crepes aren't for everybody, but if you want to try something new and different, something authentically French while you're here, I say give it a shot. Let us know uh, if you're planning on coming to the Crepery, which one looks the best. And of course, let us know what other restaurants you want to see reviewed. If you like this video, you can go ahead and like and subscribe and follow us on social media at All Ears Net. And until next time, friends, I'm Molly. And I'm Quincy. Au revoir. Hey, it's Molly here. Want to see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also, ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.